So we just had two more mass shootings, one in El Paso and one in Dayton. And once again, there's a gun debate and people are talking about mental health and all sorts of things. So let's talk about the real issues. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is, typically I take topics going on in the YouTube community, but I try to take topics from all over the place, try to see what we can learn from them, all right? Because we gotta learn from these situations, man. But anyways, if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring the notification bell. And do me a favor, like if you hear anything of value or you want to help me spread this message like please share this video because youtube does not put these types of videos out there whenever there's a tragedy going on but it's crazy because we have to talk about this stuff so i'm you know actually like for those of you who've been wondering about the new setup in the background and stuff i'm actually in uh california visiting my girlfriend's uh family we're with my son um and her two little brothers and yesterday like most of the world we heard about what happened in el paso right like it's crazy and right before i went to bed last night and tristan was trying to fall asleep I was like, I remember looking at Twitter and I saw some news outlet like reporting a shooting in Dayton and I, I said to Tristan, I said, look at these news outlets like trying to fear monger off the back of a mass shooting and now they're just posting about any other shooting out there even though shootings happen. Like it's not, a, it's not like it was another mass shooting. But then I woke up this morning and I was completely wrong. It was a second mass shooting in less than 24 hours in Dayton and this this dude went in there with body armor and shot up a bar like what's going on and like like I said like I'm sitting here with my son Tristan's little brothers and it's scary so those of you who don't know I'm from Las Vegas so this October it'll be two years since the Las Vegas mass shooting and that was one of the most scary experiences of my life, even though I wasn't at the event. I was up and my anxiety was through the roof and I was reaching out to everybody I knew, like, you know, are you okay, are you okay, are you okay, you know? Because obviously I have friends, you know, all over Las Vegas, I wanna make sure they were all right. And there were so many people who were affected by this. Like, thank God, like none of my, you know, none of my friends were there but I know so many people who had a friend who was there. Some died, some were injured. Um, I was working at a treatment center for three years and probably within a few months after the shooting, we started to get a lot of people coming into rehab who were at that event right because of trauma because of their PTSD not only was it you know people who attended the event but we also started to get a lot of first responders and everything so like these these events have this ripple effect and so many people struggle with anxiety too in the world today and we need to understand like all these things happening like it is making you know all of our anxiety worse like I have to worry about you know my son going to school and everything like that and like this was just at a Walmart and then it was at a bar like we're safe, you know, but anyways, I want to talk about all, you know, all the back and forth that we see every single time and you see the people on the left, you see the people on the right bickering and arguing and back and forth and it's the same thing over and over and over again the left and the right just bickering and nothing's getting done the right you know this isn't a gun problem it's a mental health problem and here's a few things all right like most of us like most of us like i lean more liberal you know but most of us we're we don't want to take anybody's guns away we just want more common sense gun laws but the other issue is a lot of people on the right want to talk about mental health issues being the lead, the reason for all this. And here's what we need to realize, you guys, and please pay attention. Please pay attention to the candidates, the election and everything like that, because they'll say this is a mental health issue, but they're defunding 
mental health programs, all right? Like, get that through your head. Like, they know people are dying. At the end of the day, people are dying, so I don't care. Like, if you wanna say it's not the guns and it's a mental health issue, cool, but quit defunding mental health programs, all right? Mental health programs in school are practically non-existent. You know what I mean? So many people, like, if you're watching this, like, you know how hard it is to get therapy or see a psychologist or see a psychiatrist and all of that, so like, they're defunding these programs that they say, you, you, know, you know, like will help improve mental health. So that's where the right is very irritating in all this. Then there's the left. Oh, the left. So what bothers me is the ignorance when they say this isn't a me mental health issue. What you'll see most people on the left say is that people with mental health issues are more likely to be a victim of a violent crime rather than commit it. And like, all I wanna say is stop it, stop it. Like that is one of the most ignorant arguments I've ever seen. Like just, the first thing is we need to change what what we mean when we talk about mental health. Um, mental health does not mean the lack of like a severe mental illness, okay? Like, just think about this for a second. Who, who in their right mind would commit such a heinous crime. Like, would you look at any mass shooter and say that they're mentally well? Of course you wouldn't, all right? And just because they don't struggle with schizophrenia or something doesn't mean that they don't have mental health issues. The fact of the matter is most people, most human beings are going to struggle with bouts of depression or anxiety or suicidal thoughts at some point in their life. And when you mix this cocktail together of depression or suicidal thoughts and everything like that, you get mass shooters, all right? Like, I don't know if any of you watch Handmaid's Tale, and this isn't a huge spoiler, so don't worry, but a week or two ago in one of the episodes, um, June wanted to kill some people, right? And then. She was talking to somebody about it, a doctor, and he said, how long have you been suicidal? And she's like, what do you mean suicidal? You mean homicidal? And, and the guy's like, no, suicidal. You know that if you killed these people, your life, you'd be dead. They would hang you, right? And like, that's what people aren't getting. A lot of these people who are homicidal are also suicidal, okay? Like, that's, that's the tragic truth, is that more and more people are starting to be suicidal and they don't just want to end their own life, they want to take people out with them, all right? And that's why we need to focus on mental health. Like, why are people suffering? Why are people so miserable? Why, are, why do people believe that life isn't worth living, right? And you guys, like, you know, especially the, uh, the Walmart shooter, you know, um, Allegedly, he was a, a white supremacist. And like, you guys, like, anger is an issue. Like, if you're fostering anger and hatred, that is a mental health issue. If you are so angry and so upset at this world that you think that that's a solution, that is a mental health issue. And I wish to God that the left would figure that out, that that is a mental health issue. And I was thinking about doing a video on Andrew Yang. I might still do it if you guys leave me a comment, let me know. But I watched both sets of the Democratic debates. He's the only candidate who I see consistently bringing up mental health, and that's something that matters to me, right? So one of the last things I wanna say is the terminology and the refusal to label these people as terrorists. It's absolutely mind-blowing. It's absolutely mind-blowing. But here's what it is. The reason why they refuse to label these people as terrorists is because if they labeled Americans as terrorists, then, and they know, they're smart enough to realize this, that if they label American Americans as terrorists, they'd also have to acknowledge that not all Muslims are terrorists, right? And they don't wanna do that. So they'll, they'll throw whatever other name they can on them and it's ridiculous. And I think, you know, the, the news and like various forms of media need to do a better job labeling these people as terrorists because we're trying to keep so many people outside of our country, but the people in our country are killing us. So the last thing I'll say is like, listen, it's 2019, next year is the elections, like pay attention 
all right? Pay attention to who's running, what their platforms are, what their policies are, what they believe in. Is it something that you believe in? I don't care if you're left, right, center, whatever you are. Just go out there and vote. Like, I spent most of my life being like, who? well, my vote doesn't matter, like, who cares? You know what I mean? And like, the problem is, is that I was part of the problem. I was part of the people who thought that me doing something doesn't matter. But one of the things that I'm trying to use my platform for is to talk about these things, you know? So, so check in with candidates, just follow this stuff and please go out there and vote. Like, whatever you believe in, I don't care what it is, but just, go out there and get involved and vote, all right? But like I said, do me a favor and share this video if you think that there's anything in here that might be of value to other people. If you think this video might help somebody go get some damn mental health help, please share this video, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. Before I take off, I wanna thank everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You guys are all awesome. Um, there's some resources down in the description and pinned comment below if you're struggling and need some help. All right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.